Hi everybody. Welcome back to Mediocre Whiskey Review. I'm Jill. We're going to do a maybe not so mediocre review today. All right, guys. Today, I'm super excited because I um, found a bottle that I've been looking for for a while. Um, and I found it yesterday at a restaurant, um, and they were selling them, so I bought one. Um, and it is the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. Um, I think I've only seen this out once, and, like, I, I don't know why, like, it appears to be allocated. I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But anyway, um, the store that I saw it out the first time... Um, I think they wanted like close to a hundred dollars for it. Um, and I just, I couldn't see spending that on it. Um, so I did not purchase it. Um, I did get it yesterday at the restaurant I went to, um, for $50. So I was, I was happy with that. I was really excited to get it. Um, so a little bit about the Heaven Hill, it is bottled and bond. Um, so of course it's a hundred proof. I did have to look up the mash bill, um, 78 corn, 12 malted barley, and 10 um, rye. So um, it's a low rye, which I think is, is good for me because I'm not a huge fan of the rye so much. Um, but at any rate, I did have to look up again. I know that I knew at one point what bottled in Bondman. I know there's special rules for it. Um, but I looked on the Heaven Hill website and what it told me was um, bottled and bond. I'm so sorry, I can't see my notes. Let's move them. Um, so it has to be um, a product of one distillery and distilled during one season. So that can be January to June or July to December. Um, it has to be aged a minimum of four years. This is aged for seven years. So that's a bonus. Um, it does have to be bottled at 100 proof. Um, and then the next part is the part that I probably always forget. Um, says it must bear the name and number of the distilled spirits plant or DSP where it was produced. And if different, uh, the DSP number of the bottling facility. So if you look on this label um, down here, it does tell you that it is distilled at the Heaven Hill Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky, but it is bottled um, by the Heaven Hill Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Um, so just a little education for you today, I guess. Um, so anyway, um, I, I did open this last night when I got home. Um, just because I was super excited to try it. I tried a couple other things at the um, restaurant we were at. They have a really great selection. And um, one of them that I tried, I was really excited to try. And then I, I wasn't overly impressed with it. Um, it was the Parker Heritage um, double barreled, twice barreled, whatever you want to call it. And um, it was it was 132 proof, I think. Um, and it just felt, I'm not afraid of proof, but that pour that I had of that was very, um, it was very hot. It was almost too um, proofy. I couldn't get um, much flavor at all. It was, it was just really hot and it could be, you know, what I had to eat. It could be just a, a mood. I don't know. Um, if I have the opportunity to try it again, I sure will. Um, but I don't know if I'll jump, you know, and buy a bottle if I see one. But anyway, um, that's why I like going to this restaurant because I can try things before I, you know, really hunt it or look for it. Uh, but as for this Heaven Hill bottled and bond, um, again, beautiful color as always. And the nose on it is really really pleasant. I almost like sucked it up my nose, but <laughs> so the nose is super sweet on it. You get the caramel vanilla. There's a hint of like, um, like chocolate a little bit, maybe, 
maybe like a graham cracker. And yes, I did open this last night, so I wrote a few notes down of what I got last night. Um, but it, the nose is very pleasant, and I'm super ready to taste it again. And those are really just like splashed it out of my glass. So sad. Um, so anyway, the palette pulls all of those notes from the nose and uh, brings them brings them straight to the to your tongue. And it's this is really good. So I when I got it home last night, I was afraid, you know, oh, maybe I'm not gonna like it. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it. Um, and I could have tried it. They had it on their menu to try. I just, you know, for, for $50, which, you know, I, it's a lot of money. Um, especially for something that like, you don't know if you're going to like, like I wouldn't spend $50 on a pair of jeans without trying them on or something, you know, but, um, but I can almost guarantee that the whiskey that I own is going to outlast any pair of jeans that I do own. So, um, and I don't mind spending a little extra on it if, um, if I think that it's really going to be good and, you know, it's a gamble. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, but if I don't like it, maybe somebody else will and I can gift it to them if, if I don't care for it. But, um, nobody's getting this one because... So this, this has like everything that I enjoy in a bourbon or a whiskey. Um, it's sweet. The, um, like right at the back end, you can get a little bit of that rice spice, but it's not overpowering. It's not, um, it's not on the forefront, you know, it doesn't, you don't get this burn right off the bat. Um, and I have a couple other bottled of bonds and I, one of them tastes kind of watery, right? Like, like you can tell it's watered down, um, which I understand they have to do with bottled of bond, get it, no problem. But, um, this one like feels like it's retained a lot of its flavors and, um, there's a nice finish to it. It's not super long. If I have to say anything negative about it, um, the only negative I can say it's um, it's a little bit drying. Like like it leaves your mouth slightly dry after you drink it. It's like it's like drinking dry wine, which I don't care for at all. Um, but it it's not terrible with this. But that's that's about the only negative that I can find with it. Um, it's got some really um, nice oily consistency to it. Um, I'm, I'm overall very impressed with it. Yep, that's, it's very pleasant. And like the more I sip it, the more I can pull out. Um, it's like a vanilla wafer cookie. There's the graham cracker. And then graham crackers like dipped in chocolate and um it is it is very pleasant it's this may be um one of my top picks that i own um <laughs> which is super cool because i did not intend to pick this up i went to this restaurant um last night because they do a lot of barrel picks um and that was my goal i wanted to go see what barrel picks they had to see um which one I wanted to get. And they had, um, they had, I think, two Elijah Craig's. They had um, an Old Elk weeded barrel pick. They had um, maybe a Yellowstone. I don't remember. Um, this obviously was not a barrel pick of theirs, but um, when I looked at their wall to see what they had, this is well, this is the one I saw, and this is the one that I chose to get. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to probably go back in the next week or so and maybe get one of the Elijah Craig's because those are always um, super good. But um, 
At any rate, this one is really good. I highly recommend it. Again, it took me quite some time to find it. I'd say probably a year. And um, I'm glad that I found it. And I'm glad that I didn't pay $100 for it. Um, I think the taste of the whiskey um, is directly related to the amount of money that you pay for it. And I'm sure that's just in my mind. If I didn't know how much it cost, it would probably be great. But to know that I got this for 50 instead of 100 it tastes better. And that's it's just how I feel about that. A um, friend of mine and I used to talk about, you know, if you could get one of these rare whiskeys, like a Pappy 23 or even a Pappy 12 or 15, you know, but you had to spend $2,000 on it, would it really taste that good? Um, or would you just be like bitter because you paid $2,000 for a bottle that MSRP is, you know, $150 or $200? Um, and like for me personally, because I'm, <clears throat> I'm like, I don't mind spending money on something I want, but not overpaying. I mean, if I overpay by $10, that's whatever, but to spend thousands of dollars on a consumable to me is insane. But if you have the money and that's what you want to do, by all means, um, you do you, but, um, like send me a little sample or something, you know, cause, cause that would be super cool. <laughs> but at any rate, this is really good. And I am glad that you have joined me today. And I hope, um, I think my next video, I, I have another new one that I was going to do today, but then I got this one. So I had to do this one first. Um, it is, it is a new year. I forgot to say happy new year. Um, I hope everybody is is doing well. I hope everybody made it through the new year safely. Um, it can be a fairly crazy time, I do know. But um, it's a new year, and I'm hoping for great things this year. And um, we're gonna we're just gonna make it a good year. That's what we're gonna do. But thank you so much for joining me today. And like, subscribe, do all the stuff, and we will see you next time. Cheers. Thank you.